Imagine yourself clothed in white garments, a symbol of your baptism and of your future life in heaven with the saints and angels. Imagine an enormous fire. You enter into that fire. Do not be afraid. The fire is Jesus himself, the flame of love. You are not alone. Mary is with you. You are in the deepest part of her heart, immersed in her flame of love. Mary fills you with great desires so that you want to receive more and more of this flame. Surrender to the flame and to have him consume your whole life. This flame, Jesus himself, is the pearl of great price, the treasure hidden in the field, the whole purpose of your life. Allow the flame to enter your being. Allow Jesus to fill your imagination and memory. Close your eyes and imagine Jesus living within you. Imagine Jesus in the mysteries of the rosary. He is conceived in Mary's womb. He sanctifies John the Baptist and Elizabeth. He is born into the world. The shepherds and the wise men can see God's human face. At 40 days, he fills the temple with light. At 12, he fills that same temple with his teachings. At 30, Jesus is baptized. He receives the Holy Spirit and hears the Father's voice. He changes water into wine. He preaches, heals, drives out demons and proclaims that the kingdom is at hand. He reveals his full glory to Peter, James and John. On the night before his death, he says, this is my body and this is my blood. He goes to the garden where he accepts the father's will. He gives himself over to men whom Satan uses as his instruments. He accepts the wounds on his back and the thorns upon his head. He accepts the cross, walks to Calvary and dies for you. His soul leaves his body and enters into eternal glory. Jesus' glorified soul re-enters his body, glorifies it and raises it from the dead. He appears to his disciples, tells them to make disciples of all nations and ascends to the Father's right hand. He sends the Holy Spirit upon the disciples, takes his mother into heaven, body and soul, and then makes her queen of all the angels and saints. After imagining Jesus in these gospel stories, allow the flame to come to your will. You welcome him and he enters your heart. You have invited Jesus to be the center of your life. He is your king. Place this fire on the lampstand and Jesus' light will flood you. When you receive the flame with others, you experience the communion of saints. When one receives, all are blessed. When all receive, each is more blessed. Right now, Our Lady embraces you and pours out her flame of love in great abundance. This is a holy, 
and sacred moment. She sends this flame into your heart. The flame leaps from her heart to yours. She gives the flame without mm -hmm. limits. The flame of love is so great that she suffers mm -hmm. until the flame leaves her heart and goes to yours because it belongs in our hearts. She gives the fire far beyond your capacity to receive. She gives gifts that were meant for others, but they did not receive. Receive this flame for everyone, for yourself, your family, your friends. You will not realize all she has done for you this day. The effects will unfold slowly and powerfully. Be still. The prayer is complete. Our Lady is pouring out the effects of grace of the flame of love. Remain in silence and receive. <laughs>